Hello Bradford Nation. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Mr. Coey and I'm going to be taking you on this virtual tour of Bradford High School. This is predominantly for incoming freshmen and for students that are transferring to Bradford. However, there may be information for sophomores, juniors, and seniors about updates to the building and about entrance procedures that will be different for the 2020-2021 school year. So let's go take a tour of the building. All right, beginning with the main entrance. This is door one. It was newly renovated last summer. Uh, this will be one of the three entrances you will use along with the Freshman Academy and Fieldhouse doors. All right, students, right down the way, just south of the main entrance is door 21, right next to the school planetarium, so that way you know. And this will be one of the other main entrances that you can use during the 2020-2021 school year. And last but not least, students, you have door five. It is at the north end of the building, our Bradford Fieldhouse entrance as well. So those are the three entrances that you can use to enter Bradford. Something new for the 2020-2021 school year is the fact that doors 20 and 21, which students have used in the past to enter Bradford High School, will no longer be used as entrances. You may exit these doors at the end of the school day or be picked up here. However, you are not to use them as entrances. Last thing to make note of students is that the theater entrance, which some students may have used in the past, please be aware that only certain students, students that are made aware and families that are made aware, are to use the theater entrance. Right, students, I am currently at the main entrance and two things I want you to be made aware of immediately is the entrance procedure. You will be either entering at 720 which is the time that they will begin letting students in and only into the commons along with part of the hallway from the field house. Students having breakfast will be allowed to enter at 710 and students in the event of inclement weather, as long as a staff member is here, they will allow you in to congregate in the commons or into the hallway by the field house. So as you enter Bradford and as a geography teacher, what I would recommend you do is make a mental map or draw this, all right? Bradford can be drawn as almost like a figure eight with another shape on top, which I'll get to a little bit later, along with the field house. So as you enter and you enter straight, you enter into the commons. The commons from here, you would either head to one of the hallways toward the cafeteria and the offices, or you can turn to the left toward the field house hallway. So for the purposes of this video, I will be taking you down the field house hallway. Down the field house hallway, the only thing that you will find down here is the PE classes, the locker rooms, the swimming pool, and that is about it. You will find the offices for some of your PE teachers, Mr. Menor, Mr. McCray, and Ms. Novak, along with Mr. Perona. You come in here, you have our field house, just to kind of give you a glimpse of what that would look like. So that is all that you would do down here. If you attend any sporting events, you would enter through the field house doorway for things such as volleyball and basketball games. And that is the field house. And coming back, the commons can be used as an area for students during lunchtime. So some of the students will congregate here. And coming back, as I told you, the offices are down here along with study hall, Mr. Sonnenberg and our school resource officer, uh, Officer Gonzalez. And here you have our lunchroom, which was updated during the 2019 summer. There will be several lines. You will get used to the procedures here. They may look differently students than they did in past years due to the 2020-21 school year looking different. On your right, right across from the cafeteria, you have our infrared, which is our school store. This is only open at certain times throughout the day. Going down the hallway, you will find the offices. As stated before, faculty lounge, for some students, the conference room, along with our directing principal's doorway, Mr. Sonnenberg's office, the principal's office in 155, the study hall room, 154. Several of you will have classes in here um, that will look differently definitely this school year. Continuing to go down, you have the Office of Student Management, 
Mr. Brown's office. And we have our second corridor area over by the Student Life and Learning Office in room 151 and some of our theater departments. All right, and stopping here, you should have what is essentially like a giant L with a piece sticking out of the bottom, which marks where the field house is. The first part where most students get confused is in finding your art classes. So if you're near 151, there's a stairwell here toward the entrance, or a former entrance, that students would have used that they are no longer to use at door 20 and 21. If you go down those stairs, and down here, you will find your art classes. All right, so if you go down here, if you continue to go down the hallway, you will find Ms. Johnson and Mr. Cole's classroom along with Ms. Leading's classroom as well. So those are the classes you will find on those stairs. Say hi to Ms. Stanfield. For those of you that take theater classes, that will be one of your teachers. All right, students, just to give you an idea, this is the math hallway. Um, as you can see, the ugly yellow tile is gone. Coming down the hallway is Mr. Stagger. Mr. Stagger, say hi to the new students. Good morning, new students. <laughs> so some of you, if you take, uh, I believe, Algebra 2, correct? Yep. And a couple other classes, Mr. Stagger will be one of your teachers. Now, you can go two directions. You can go down the math hallway, which, as you can saw, did not have, that, again, that ugly yellow tile. But if you go down the stairs here, there are several classes down here. You have your stagecraft. You have a classroom with Mr. T-Rink. Down here, you will also find several of your shop classes with Mr. Williams and Mr. Caminetti. The other things that you will find down here and going down the stairs are the band, orchestra, and choir classes. All of this area was newly renovated, repainted. Uh, we have new air conditioning and, and heating systems. Social workers are also going to be down here at the very end of the hallway. And excuse, by the way, all the stuff laying around as we are trying to get everything ready for your arrival. So you would take a right. This is really the only direction you can go. There are stairs at the end of the hallway. I was at, but typically we do not use those. You have your band class with Mr. Mueller. You have your a cappella and choir courses with Mr. Mann. And then going a little bit down, we do have rooms where students can practice. And then down here you have orchestra with Ms. Kamakawa. Then you get to the end of the hallway near the theater entrance and you have our face classes, family and consumer education courses with Ms. Farrell, Ms. Jones, and Ms. Farwell Sanchez. So those three classes are all right here. And then you get back to the entrance by the theater. If you have band, this is Mr. Mueller right here. Say hi to the freshmen. Hey, freshmen, how are you guys doing? Well, hopefully they will have you. And if they don't, they should take band with you. That's right. All right, so again, we are at the theater entrance. Just to give you an idea, things may look differently this year in regards to presentations that would happen in here, but our stage and the event that we have, any presentations that we have to go through with students. So again, in this entrance, students typically wouldn't enter through here unless they've already been pre-told, but you may exit through here for after school activities or at the end of the school day. All right. And heading back, we have one classroom tucked in here, 123. If you have a class with Mr. Standish, which typically freshmen do not, you would not go to that room. And going up these stairs away from the theater department, back toward the main entrance, you have our school psychologist, Ms. Broderick, one of our counselors, Ms. Wobblickus. Ms. Wobblickus, say hi to freshmen. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> And in here you have Miss Tony. She is the freshman dean. Miss Tony, say hi. Hi, I'm Miss Tony, the freshman dean. I look forward to meeting you guys. All right. Well, we will meet Miss Tony later again in the year. All right. Thank you, Miss Tony. Thank you. 
Okay, and in here, you have Miss Maria. Miss Maria, say hi to the freshmen. Hola, como están? Is there anything you want to let them know for the upcoming school year? So, I am Miss Maria. I'm the bilingual student support specialist. So, I will be working with the ELL students. So, if you guys need any help, si necesitan ayuda, pueden venir a ver. All right, thank That's you very it. much. Yep, bye bye. <laughs> and in the freshman office, you have Miss Grile. Miss Grile, you want to say hi to the freshmen? Hello, freshmen. I'm Mrs. Grile. I'm the assistant principal here, or one of them here, but I am the principal of Freshman Academy. So I will be hopefully meeting each and every one of you this year. We're excited to have you back. All right, well, we'll see you on the first day. <laughs> All right, so, students, she was in. Uh, Mr. Brown's old position, so several of the offices, including our Freshman Academy office. This is Miss Eckel. Miss Eckel, say hi to the freshmen. You're being recorded, just so you know. <laughs> All right, in there you would find your office with Miss Grile. So if you're in here, hopefully it's for nothing problematic. All right, and going down here, you have your English classrooms. So if you look down at the end there, there's that like little white light. Um, that is going to be the main entrance. So as I said, the school is actually like a figure eight. Now I want you to be aware there are rooms 101 to 105 that branch off from these hallways. And these are again our English classes. But toward the end, you would have our health classes. All right, so 101 and 102 would be used for health class. The only other thing that I want you to be aware of, students, is if you come back, You have our library entrance, which you would enter through door, I believe it is 29. This is why I say it's a figure eight. So if you have to come in here, which students, the procedures for the library will be significantly different. Only one student per table. And classes typically will not be in here anymore, at least for the duration of the school year that I am aware of. All right. One other thing, and some classes will have class down in the basement areas, but typically we are trying to get away from that. Now, what you can do then next is head upstairs to the second floor. Again, students, as you can see, the yellow tile is gone. Now, if you get to the top of those stairs by the Freshman Academy, or there are stairs at the end by the main entrance from the English hallway, down here you will have your world language and social studies courses. My class is going to be down here. So for those of you who have some US history courses, AP Human Geography, you would be down this hallway near 205 to 201. So the second floor is not a full figure eight. You're going to see things are different down here. If you have Spanish, that was Miss Goldsmith. So coming down here, you're going to run into your science and a couple other math classes that freshmen do not typically have. Those are counselors being loud. All right, again, right above where the hallway is for the math department, these are your science classrooms. Again, everything's been updated and changed. New lights, new ceiling tiles, new paint, new tile. And you will have your bio classes down here. Coming back down this way. So the top floor is more like a, like a backwards P. For those of you that take or have ESL, you would be down here in rooms 221 and 222. Again, even as you can see, the lockers have been repainted. Down here at the end of the class, you might have some of your consumer education courses with Ms. Nielsen. Up here, typically students, you wouldn't have classes. Um, there are a few that you would have, maybe with Ms. Morissette. 
and a couple of the one-on-one -on -one support areas. But beyond that, students do not typically come up here. Coming back, here is a stairwell. And then going back this way, there is one teacher, students, that you're going to probably have class with, which would be Miss Akina. She is one of the science teachers that will teach you biology. Um, she might only have one section this year compared to previous years. Beyond that, this is an area that custodians typically would only use. And then we are back at that hallway where I told you the science teachers would be. All right, students, this is Mr. Menor. He will be one of your PE and health teachers, and he is going to explain some of the new procedures for PE class this year. Okay, very important. One thing, this is not new to you guys, but it's going to be new to everybody else. We can only enter through the doors down by the boys' locker room, okay? So there's doors down by the boys' locker room. That'll be our entrance only. And then right here, these doors, which are close to the girls' locker room, that's going to be exit only, okay? So you can't. When you have class, you can't go in through these doors. This is only an exit, and you can't exit down there. That's only an exit, okay? Probably not gonna have locker rooms this year, and with that, we're probably not gonna be able to use the pool, okay? It's a bummer for some of you, especially me. A lot of you probably love that we can't use the pool. It is what it is, okay? So those are just a couple things that I need you to know to start the year. All right. Thank you, Mr. Menor. Absolutely. Down here. Excuse the desks. We are trying to minimize the amount of desks in classrooms. We have Miss Birch. Miss Birch, say hi to the freshmen. Hello, freshmen. I will see you soon. All right. All right. We're going to go see Miss Defazio now as well. Um, in the event that clubs do exist still, Miss Defazio teach, er, runs the key club. So I'm going to knock first. Miss Defazio? Ms. Fazio, say hi to the freshmen. Hi, freshmen. What do you teach with them? I'll be teaching English. That'll be great. Welcome. All right, we will see you on day one. Bye. All right. And as I said, we are back at the main entrance. So that's your figure eight with the library in the middle. There are stairs right here that will lead you up to the World Language and Social Studies Department just to give you an idea. So the top is kind of like a backwards P. And again, you're gonna have several teachers. Myself, I will teach you AP Human Geography. All right, and here you have Mr. Yackley. Mr. Yackley, say hi to the freshmen. Hi, freshmen. What are you gonna be teaching them? US History. All right, and if, ladies, you do volleyball, you already know who he is, so you will get familiar with him. Or find me if you aren't, haven't tried out yet. All right, there you go. So for those of you doing girls volleyball, down further, you will have Miss Wingett, who will be teaching you U.S. history. Miss Wingett, are you in there? Yeah, I'm in a meeting. Okay. I'm trying to learn about IEPs. All right. So my room right there, 204. And then over here, you have Miss Wingett. Miss Wingett, say hi to the freshmen. Hi, I teach freshmen U.S. history. All right, and so you'll see her first day too. Bye, Miss Wingett. All right, and then again, you go to the end here, and it will take you back to the main hallway upstairs. So as you can see, most of the teachers are obviously wearing their masks. In the event that you go to a door and they do not have their mask on, they will put it on upon um, you're entering the room. Um, the only time they're not wearing them, if they are not wearing them, is when they are alone in their rooms. Per CDC, Kenosha Unified, and the Wisconsin mandates. All right, freshmen, again, one of your teachers for science. Want to say hi? Hi. What's your name and what do you teach? Hannah Gregory, and I teach biology and chemistry. Okay, and just so you upperclassmen know, thanks for meeting you. Um, freshman 
She is new and upperclassman that she replaced Miss Lee. Just so you're aware, we are going to meet a couple more of your science teachers. All right, another one of your freshman science teachers, also new to Bradford this year. Could you go ahead and introduce yourself, sir? Hey, freshman. My name is Mr. Maydanyuk. Uh, feel free to call me Mr. M if you see me in the hallways or if you're in my class, and I look forward to meeting you guys. All right, and they look forward to meeting you as well, and welcome to the staff. All right, and then we are going to head over here. One of the teachers that many of the upperclassmen are familiar with, Miss Akina, is down here. Hey, freshman students. Can't wait to meet you. I'm Miss Akina. I'll be teaching you freshman biology. And apparently you're teaching different subjects with the upperclassmen. What are you going to be teaching there, Miss Akina? I sure am. I'm going to see my anatomy and physiology students. Can't wait to do some fun activities and also AP biology. All right. Can we cut through your room and see Miss Vogt? Sure. Come on. All right. All right, students, you would not typically go through this way, but for the sake of what I'm doing, we're going to cut through. And freshman, your last science teacher is here, Ms. Vogt. Ms. Vogt, do you want to say hi to freshman? Hi, freshman. I'm Ms. Vogt. What are you going to be teaching them this year? I'll be teaching biology. Are you teaching anything to the upperclassmen this year, or are you going to be exclusively biology with freshmen all day? I'm exclusively just for you, freshmen. All right, so if you guys have questions, she's going to be one of your go-tos for biology. All right, good to see you, Ms. Vogt. Bye. All right, so those are your science teachers. You met your social studies teachers, and you met your English teachers. So we are back by the offices real quickly. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, you want to say hi to the students? Hey, guys. I'm Mr. Brown, one of the assistant principals here at Bradford High School. I kind of oversee some things with student safety and students that aren't making the best choices, so it's usually not the best thing to end up in my office. But otherwise, I'd love to see you in the hallway and in your classes. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Brown, and You're they welcome. will get to know you. So, students, he was Mr. Sokol's position last year. He will be new in that position. So, again, stay out of his office. All right, we're back up uh, by the face teachers um, upstairs near 229. Students, Mr. Vargas used to be downstairs. You might be familiar with it. Mr. Vargas, you are now upstairs with us. Yep, I'm up here with um, all the great people at Bradford. Um, as he said, my name is Ms., uh, Gary Vargas, and you can call me Gary, that's okay. Um, I'm the student liaison, been here for almost 15 years now. I'm also the assistant girls golf coach, or the head coach and the assistant to, for the boys. Um, basically, my role is to assist any kids who are having trouble in school, whether it's at home, school, or in the community. Um, I help them get some of the jobs, get uh, community service out of the way, help them with truancy, um, anything that's going on that you need assistance, um, that's what I'll do. If you're hungry, I'll feed you. If you need clothes, we'll take you to our north side outfit. But we're here to assist you with whatever's uh, getting in the way of your uh, education. My goal is to make you graduate, and I will do everything in my power to do so. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Vargas. We'll see you when the school year starts. Yep, see you soon. All right, guys, and Mr. Vargas is awesome to have in the building, and you should take time to get to know him if you need to. Um, he's always here to help. All right, so that is your tour of Bradford High School, freshmen, freshman families. Um, hopefully you will also be meeting at some point the new directing principal, Brian Geiger. You will meet Mr. Sokol, one of the other assistant principals. You will be meeting your math teachers, the SPED teachers, coaches, so on and so forth. Um, we look forward to seeing you and hopefully having a great year, whether it's virtually or in person. And as always, remember one side, north side.